1997, Bangladesh faced Kenya in the final of the ICC Trophy in Kuala Lumpur. The 50-over game would prove to be a classic. This is the biggest game of cricket that these 22 players have played in. Bowled in. Comprehensively bowled. Cycle Islam has struck. As if Kareem is out. Well, if the Kenyans wanted to take the crowd out of the game, they haven't. That must be close. That's more than close. That is out. Otiano calls LBW to cycle Islam. And the product of the pressure of the scoring rate, he saw a ball that he thought he could get runs from. He couldn't. That's a lovely shot. Times that perfectly. Little wonder, of course, that many people in world cricket consider him to be the finest batsman in the world outside the Test Match Arena. What a shot! There is no doubt at all in my mind, Mike, that this has been the shot of the morning. He's gone. He's gone. Sunday Gupta trying to turn away there. And that's a critical breakthrough. Now, of course, is the supreme test for the Bangladeshi bowlers with the two supreme batsmen of Kenya at the wicket together. Steve Takalo being joined by Maris Adumbe. He's got it away, not quite as uh, effectively as he'd like. It's, it's certainly effective, but not quite as cleanly as he would have liked. Got hold of that one, all right. Six into the crowd. Daryl Hare signals. And the scoreboard ticks on. That's four all the way. And that brings up the 100 partnership between these two. Oh, he'll get it. It's an outstanding innings from Sir Ticalo. He'll probably come back for two. Morris Adumbe is dashing down. That's good work from Adumbe, but uh, very, very good century from uh, Steve Ticalo. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Darrell Harris Union. Not the quickest of stumpings in the world, but good enough because Odenbe was a long way down. And Rafiq has struck at just about the right moment. What a shot. What a shot. You'd want to travel miles to see that one. He's chipped that one. Man under it. That's it. What a moment for Bangladesh. Saiful Islam, the fielder. Khaled Mahmood, the bowler. And one of the great innings in the ICC trophy has come to an end. Steve Tickelow's magnificent 147 was the centre point of an impressive Kenyan total of 241 for 7. Then down came the rains. As drastic measures were taken to dry the outfield, the match dragged into the reserve day and the Duckworth Lewis calculation came into play as Bangladesh's target was set at 166 from 25 overs. When Martin Suji claimed the wicket of Bangladeshi opener Naimur Rahman with the first ball of the innings, he was left to Mohammed Rafiq and Minajul Abedin to take charge for the Bangladeshis. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely blow. That is an outstanding blow. Now, we've been talking about Mohamed Rafiq having the ability to play the inside out shot. You really can't play it better than that. Good shot. 
the gun. Address it to Bonders and Euro already. And early problems here for Kenya. That's chipped, it's gone. Bonders to shot for Mohammad Rafir. There's a man there for the shot. It's really going to clear the boundary. You're going to have 11 men there for the shot. It doesn't matter. Morris Ogunbe is getting under it. He's searching for it. And he's got it. Good catch. And that is exactly what Kenya wanted. Mohamed Rafiq is out and the captain has done it. I read that as a top catch. There's a man there. He's taken. A stunning, stunning, stunning catch. Now he slipped while he was going for the ball and he was completely off balance while he was taking it. Young Bridel Patel, I'll tell you, that is without any doubt at all the catch of the tournament in my book so far because he was slipping when he took it. Sensational. That's why. Magnificent. The timing of that was to perfection. He fell in. Well, I just wonder whether that is the end for Bangladesh. Why is it Patrick? And he has. He's obliged. Thomas Adoyo is the man out there who is taking the catch at the end of Akron Khan. Oh, that's a magnificent catch. Sandy Gupta judged that to perfection. That would have been six. All adrenaline stuff, isn't it now? Safe for Islam. He's got the top edge. Man under it. Not good enough. It's gone all the way. That is the strongest edge I've seen for a long time. Morris Adumbe right on the edge of the circle. That's very good thinking. I've been very impressed by Morris Adumbe's captaincy in the slot. Asif Kareem picks up another wicket and Saiful Islam is gone. It's an incredible spell from Asif Kareem who's now got 19 wickets in the tournament that uh, puts him jointly at the top for this year. There's enough put on that. That's gone a long way. That's gone for six. Khalid Mahmood. He's got that ball away. It's gone a bit of a chase. He's gone for four. Bangladesh are on fire with numbers eight and nine. Hey, there are a few excited people in the Bangladesh tent. Oh, he's got to go. He's got to go. I just wanted a little edge on it too, but it's been given by the square leg umpire, so he's stumped. And Maurice Adumbe, who's got the coolest head on the ground, has done it again. So what a finish this is. What a finish. Rocket straight back. Six. Six from the first ball. No shot of heroes in the Bangladesh camp. Five from five balls. That was an incredible shot. Martin Suji. He's pulled it back. Five from four. Now remember, if they get one six five, they lose the game. They get one six six, they win it. That'll be called wide. That'll be called wide. If you're it's down the leg side. Kennedy Odiano is disappointed. So is Martin Suji now.
This is such a cruel game. Down the leg side, it's called a wide. A four will do it now. I think what Kenny needs is a wicket. No doubt about it. They need a wicket here. They go for it. Ukunde. They make it. Three from three. I think only in front of the pavilion and in the Kings area are people sitting. Everywhere else they're, they're standing. Martin Suji, three from three. Hasibul Hussein. No, that is not, not what Bangladesh wants. They want a single, a little nudge. Now, what Hasibul Hussein has done is, he's ensured that he now, in all likelihood, has got to win the match. Now, Gordon Penny is saying, take a single, take a single maybe. He's got it! He is the hero! We've just pulled that one in! The scores are level, are they? It's one to go. Now, normally, normally, with one run required and one ball remaining, you've got a tie we don't hear. The ICC trophy is at stake here. One ball. What they want is to run for just about anything. The field should be in, it isn't. One ball to go. You know what is a tragedy here? And that is that under the Duckworth Lewis system, we can't have a tie. Because they ever again deserved a tie, this is it. Martin Suji, the running of the fight, the draw is in. Bangladesh are ICC champions. 166 for eight. That was the target. They've got there. Kenya are the bridesmaids once again. And what a day in the history, not only of Bangladesh cricket, but of a nation that is exactly 25 years old. Next test playing nation, you never know.